Hey everyone, uh, Max here with the Atlas Motor Vehicles Weekly Update. So first from the energy side of things, we got our first batch of electrode from uh, Lenny and the team out on the East Coast. This combined with a new calendaring machine is allowing us to continue production of AMV cube cells in-house. Um, the energy team has also been working with suppliers to get us components for the next iteration of AMV cube cells. Of course, the Catch-22 with a startup is getting those large suppliers to deal with a, a lower volume of product and get, still get us product quickly. On the charging side of things, Victor's team is working on getting the power systems installed for our first 1.5 megawatt charging system that prototype that we're building out in that shipping container that you guys have seen. Uh, stay tuned for updates on that in the, in, the, in the weeks to come. On the XBXT side of things, you guys have seen plenty of updates on the prototype development. But a lot of members, including myself, have been working behind the scenes on vehicle packaging. What exactly is a vehicle packaging? Well, there are a lot of components on this platform. We've got suspension, we've got steering, we've got brakes, we've got the air system, the chassis, the control modules that control all those systems. Every single one of those components is fighting for the same amount of space. Vehicle packaging is managing that space and managing how those components interact with each other. We want to make sure we have good, uh, good manufacturability, a good ability to service. We want good durability as well. Matt, packaging plays into all of that. Packaging also ends up cascading into the final design of the vehicle, so stay tuned for what that's going to look like in the future. Um, that's all the updates for this week. Thanks for listening. Uh, stay tuned, and we'll, we'll, we'll be back with more updates next time. Mad Max out.